Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome back to another episode of Pencil Puzzle. Before we get into it though today, just want to say that I am reducing the series down to two videos per week and they are going to come out on a Saturday and a Sunday going forwards. Anyway, today we are back with another Jigsaw X from the Simon Tatum Puzzle app. And um, yeah, hopefully I've remembered to link the puzzle down in the description. I've not been doing too well with remembering about that um, as of late. But without further ado, let's start the timer and away we go. Okay. Now, where can we get going here? It's a very good question, Nock. Where are we going to get going? Well, we can say that fours have to go at the bottom here. It's uh, something. Actually place a four there because of diagonals and other digits that are seen. Fours there or there. Yeah, there's somewhere in that four there. But a four is going to have to go in this one here. So that's going to limit fours to there or there. Okay, is there any other thing we can take from that, like X-Wing kind of stuff? No. We can place uh, fours there. And that's going to leave us with a four only there, or only there, or there. So, okay, there we go. There's all our fours placed. Start. Where can we go from here? Where can we take that momentum? Um, we can take my nines here. Actually, we can place a nine there. Because this little bit here, we know the nine has to feature somewhere in one of these cells here. So there's a nine in the top. Then dictates that we're going to see a nine somewhere there we know we're not going to have a nine in the middle cell because we've already got a nine on a diagonal place a nine there because of that one okay so that's now telling me we've got a nine somewhere in that in there we know not to place any nines in this box here now. And finish off the nines quickly. There are a lot of possibilities though for the nines, unfortunately. Okay, is there any unique nines that are unique to a block at all? I don't think so. Okay, what next? Anything with fives? Maybe all of those and that one. Fives and then go there and there in that block. Don't think that's going to help much more than that. Eight, six, six. Scanning, scanning, scanning. Place a six there, actually. Then we know six is there, there, there in that block. Which also then tells us six has to be there because it can't go there. I think then, no, I'm gonna make a 
rash um, call there, but no, it's, it's not. Let's carry on. Six is a possible middle candidate. Six is also a candidate for a lot of other cells, it seems. Okay. Anything from that, I wonder. Oh, hold on. This here. This is the only place for a six here. Uh, that can't be a six because we've already got a six down below. Sorry. I've entered that in and got excited. But no, that can't be. If a six isn't on the diagonal, it's got to be in the middle. So I think, based on that logic, actually, if a six has to be there or there, both of those feature on the diagonal right so we can't have a six there we wouldn't be able to have a six there because in this block it has to go there or there so that then means a six has to go here so we can take out these sixes from here and that tells me that the six is the middle digit because that is now the only place in this row where a six can go we take out all of these sixes any sixes that feature on a diagonal, place the six there as well. That, which then also gives me a six here. Can't have many more sixes left, can we? There's a six there. A six there. All right, so we found our middle digit and we have also identified all our sixes now. So moving forward, ones have to sit there in this column. There's actually only two places that one can sit on this diagonal. And it's here and here. Not really a lot of more isolation I can do there. This column here though is looking interesting because there's quite a few a few digits that have been included. So we can't have a two or an eight there. It's a three or a five then. Can do better than that at the minute. Actually, place a three there. And the reason we place a three there is because these these three boxes here see the three. This three is on the diagonal. Okay, that means three's got to go in this box here. So a three, it's got to go down there. Two place in this top row here. Actually, a three has to go there. Threes has to go here because it can't go in this box here. That's going to tell me that that's the three here. When we look down to here. This becomes a three. How does that? Oh, no, we've already got three. Sorry. That was, yeah, for some reason, I didn't think that was, I missed that on the diagonal. I don't know why. I placed that on the diagonal, I'm pretty sure. But, no, nope. carrying on. 
ignore me. Right, what are these three digits here? Two. Can't be a five there because we've already got a five on the diagonal. And an eight. So that becomes a two and an eight pair. Can we do anything now with this five? No, because we still don't know about this cell here. Well, five can't be there, but five could still be here. So I can't say categorically where they are in those two. And so we now know, if we now know Five has to go in here, so five can't go there. Does that force a five into here? It does. Um, yeah, five has to go here. Limited now to two places long there yeah, that a five could be or three if you include that box two places in this three in the block and twos two and the blocks and what's our other missing digit it's an eight Ones. Let's look at the ones. One there that we can't do anything about. There's one there that we can't do anything about, and there's one there. Okay, so a one is here. Five, nine. Well, that can't be a two. So this becomes a two because we've already got a two on diagonal. Then that becomes a two. This becomes an eight. That becomes a two. Yep. This becomes an eight as well. This could be an eight. Eights have to go in here. Running my eyes down here for any clean that we could do. I don't think there's any more to do at this minute and this moment in time. Actually, there's a nine and eight here. Okay. Five digits left in there. Eights. We have eights covering that diagonal. This has to be an eight. One, one, two, and nine. Oh, no, it's one, I can't have a nine here. And yeah, this is that cleanup business. I need to really focus cleaning stuff up. I could have easily made a mistake there. Ones are here or here. Twos. And sevens. Twos and sevens. What have we got here? One, nine, eight, seven. Sevens. Sevens are free for anywhere. And sevens, what's our other digit? Eight. Which that is the only place for an eight. 
Where are the digit here? Who? So this is a one or a seven. It can't be a nine. Seven, three. Seven, three. Seven or three. One, two. Three. No. Three and seven. Three. Seven. Eights have to definitely go there. Ones and sevens are already in this block here somewhere. Three can't go there or there. Three's gonna go there in that block. Was <clears throat> five. Seven. Looking at anything, I'm just filling in digits here. Ones, <clears throat> twos have to go there at least. Threes, fours. Fives are already there, six are already there, sevens, eights are already there. I really need to get rid of some, place some sevens. Sevens are really hurting me at the minute. One, five, seven. One, five, seven, eight. That can't be a two. That's got to be a seven. One, two, three, and seven. Three, seven pairs there. That can't be a three. Which means a three, I think, is going to place here. I don't know why that couldn't be a three, though. That could still be a three. Seven, three, and seven. That can't be a nine. The diagonal. That can't be a nine because the diagonal, we've only got one digit left here, which is a seven. Sevens. Three. It can't be a three there. Three's got to go here. Nine's got to go there. I'm so confused. I don't think. I think a nine could still go here. Yeah, I don't know why a nine can't go there. So we'll leave that for now. Five nine pair. Um, I'm not feeling confident about this one, I'll be honest. I feel like mistakes 
probably been made. Five, eight, nine. Nine. All right, actually, that's why three has to go there or there. Three can't go there. Can't go there. That is a three. That is a three. That's a seven. That's a three. That's five, nine, that's a three. See, I wasn't confident. See, I'm left here with, yeah. Ah. Uh, Fortunately, you know what though? I'm not seeing any of my place digits moving, changing. Okay, maybe I haven't messed up then. Maybe I haven't messed up. Okay, let's think about this. One, seven, three, nine. One, seven, five. No, it's not one. It's not one. We've already got a one. One, two, three. Can't go there. Can't go there. Three would have to go there. That then leaves us with a five and an eight. Five and an eight. Nine and an eight. One, seven pair. That's a five. Two, nine pair. Two nine pair, one seven pair. <gasps> seven, seven, nine. One and five. And five, because we've already got a five on the diagonal. As much as I try, still really struggling to like keep things clean. I'm just getting so confused. I think I'm just not used to put, putting in so many pencil marks. And it's just absolutely throwing me for six. Let's unwind it. Hope that we have still got this and not made any mistakes. No mistakes. Well, there were made mistakes, but ah, uh, yeah, that's that was not a good solve at all. I desperately need to like work on penciling things out, but I'm still finding it like, really tricky and really quite difficult when I'm playing these puzzles to come up with a a good way to actually pencil them in and like a good system. Because we don't have like the multiple pencil marking system that other some of the other apps have, it's really um quite hard. Because obviously I, I try to identify a candidate's in a row or a, or a cell or a block sorry 
And I think I'm just getting so confused as to whether or not I've fully pencil marked that box or whether or not it's only half pencil marked. And I think that's where my mistakes are occurring. Um, but hey, we learn from our mistakes and we try to improve. Guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, please uh, leave your comments down below. I hope you're still enjoying these videos. And until next time, I've been not, you've been awesome. Take care, stay safe, happy gaming.